Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the new Disney collection from Color Infinity to share with you. This is a seven piece collection all inspired by different Disney things, different Disney movies, by like things in the theme parks. And this collection releases on March 30th. So the way Color Infinity works is that it's kind of like a pre-order status. So on March 30th they release and then on April 9th is when the pre-order closes. Um, so once the pre-order closes all of the polishes will go ahead and ship out. So these are 12 milliliter bottles and they will each retail for $5.50 or if you buy the full collection, the full seven piece collection, they equal out to $5 a bottle. So in the description box below I will link the Color Infinity site as well as an Instagram page and I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of this collection and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Part of Your World, obviously inspired by The Little Mermaid and this is a bright red that looks just like Ariel's hair, um, a linear holographic. Here's our first coat of Part of Your World. This is really opaque here on this first coat. It isn't completely opaque. I can still see that little white mark on my ring finger so I am going to go ahead and go in for a second coat. But this does have a nice formula. Easy to use, easy to work with. Not too thick, not too thin. And it being so pigmented I also wanted to note that I did not have any kind of staining here. So here's our second coat and this one does cover completely in two coats for me. It also dries down decently glossy on its own though I would recommend a nice glossy top coat. It's going to help that holographic shine in the sunlight even better than it does without and it's also going to make it look nice and cohesive. So there's two coats. Up next we have, I believe it's pronounced Dole Whip or Dole Whip. And this is a bright sunflower yellow cream. Um, this is inspired by a treat that is available at Disney World. Here's our first coat of Dole Whip. <laughs> I, I don't know how to say that. This goes on really, really nicely on this first coat. It's almost opaque. I mean, it's obviously a little bit streaky here on this first coat, but as far as yellows go, this is extremely opaque. This also has a nice formula. It's not too thick, not too thin, doesn't want to run or pull or anything like that and I am working in relatively thin coats here as well. So here's our second coat, and this one does cover for me completely in two coats, but depending on your application, it could be a little bit streaky here after the second coat, so you might end up needing a third coat. This one also dries very glossy on its own, and again, being so pigmented, I had no issues with staining. I would recommend a nice glossy top coat for longevity though. So there is two coats. Up next we have I Am Moana, obviously inspired by Moana, and this is an ocean blue base with a strong like turquoise shimmer. It is like a turquoise greeny blue shimmer, and then it does have a scattering of holographic throughout it as well. Here's our first coat of I Am Moana. Again, this has a nice formula, not too thick, not too thin, no running or pulling. I had a hair. This is pretty opaque here on this first coat as far as what we're applying. Um, it's obviously not completely opaque, so I am going to go in for a second coat. There are micro glitter in here, um, so it's going to dry slightly textured, and it is going to be a little bit difficult to remove. And it also dries down pretty dull, so you will want a nice glossy top coat, and it's also going to help the shimmer stand out. It's going to help make the manicure last a little bit longer. I just am always going to recommend a, a nice top coat. So there is two coats. Up next we have Olympus Would Be This Way and this is inspired by Hades from the movie Hercules. This is a deep royal blue base and it's got like a, it's got a flaky throughout it that I believe is just a super dark blue. It might be a black but they are a couple different sizes. Um, they go from really really big to really really small as well as a scattering of hollow. Here's our first coat of Olympus would be that way. This one also has a pretty nice formula. Not too thick, not too thin, no running, no pulling, no staining, 
the normal. I guess I should pretty much just start noting if it does run pool or stain <laughs> because I say that with just about everything. Um, the distribution of the flakies in here is pretty even. You do have to work a little bit just to spread them out evenly across your nails, but it's nothing that like needs a glitter placement per se or anything like that. So here's the second coat. It's almost completely opaque for me in two coats. You may or may not need the third coat. I'm going to go ahead and do it though to deepen that base color just a little bit more and to get maximum payoff for these flakies. This is also going to dry slightly textured so you will want a nice glossy top coat to smooth it over and it's also going to help it because it does dry down dull. Nothing in here stuck to my nail per se as far as removal goes um, but those flakies did break up when I was removing it and it turned into you know a bunch of smaller flakies so it did kind of get everywhere on my hands but it doesn't stick like you're going to be scrubbing or anything like that. So there is three coats. Up next we have Sleeping Beauty and this is inspired by Aurora and this is a light baby pink with a blue shimmer and a scattering hollow and then it does have like a small maybe dark blue or black micro glitter. Here's our first coat of Sleeping Beauty. This goes on pretty nice, smooth, easy to apply. There's no running or pulling here either. And for being such a light color, it does cover pretty well here on this first coat. I am going to go ahead and stop at two coats today, but you may end up needing a third coat. I was right on the edge of needing three, but this was completely opaque in two for me. This one did have some self-leveling issues where I did have to make sure I was applying nail polish pretty evenly just to make sure it didn't um, look lumpy on my nails per se. Those little blue micro glitter in there are going to stick to your nails and they are going to be a little bit difficult to remove so just bear that in mind and you will want a nice glossy top coat here as well. So there is two coats. Up next we have Try the Grey Stuff. It's delicious and this is inspired by the song Be Our Guest from Beauty and the Beast. This is a super dark, well not super dark, but a darker gray and it looks like it has like an undertone of brown. It does have a copper shimmer and then a linear holographic effect as well. Here's our first coat of Try the Gray Stuff. It's delicious. And this is completely opaque here in one coat for me. It does build up with a second coat to be a little bit deeper though in color so I am going to go ahead and show you what that second coat looks like. This has a nice holographic effect though that is going to shine better in the like natural sunlight than it does in my studio lighting. So just keep that in mind as well. This is very, very holographic in person. This again does cover completely in two coats. It dries down slightly dull so you will want a nice glossy top coat but not only for that but also to show off that holographic element. So there is two coats. And then lastly for today, we have All You Need Is Faith and Trust inspired by Peter Pan. And this is a silvery base. It does have like a green flash to it, so a green shimmer, so it does appear to be like a silvery green. And that shimmer is not going to show up on my camera. And then this also does have a scattering of holographic and I believe some form of iridescent in there as well. And here's our first coat of All You Need Is Faith and Trust. And this goes on really nicely and evenly as well. It's easy to use, no running or pulling. I am gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like on two coats today, but depending on your application and your preference, you may end up opting to go for the third coat. This is not one though that I recommend as a topper. Um, most, some three coat polishes can be toppers, but I would go ahead and say this one's a no-no. It is a little bit on the dense side, so just keep that in mind. This also dries down to a sandy texture, so if you don't like that, you will want a nice glossy top coat, and that's also going to help the, um, holographic element in this shine as well, and it is going to be slightly difficult to remove, so there is two coats. So my favorite of this collection is Try the Gray Stuff. It's delicious. I love the name. I love the shade. I love the holographic effect. I love the formula. Like, I love everything about this shade, this polish. It's beautiful. And if you can only get one, I highly, highly, highly suggest this one. And the yellow cream. Like, those were both fantastic. So, but this one is definitely my favorite. And that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this collection. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.